Today we look at how taking cold showers in the morning can benefit you throughout the day. To help us understand this, as well as understand techniques on how to take cold showers, we look at no further than the Iceman, Wim Hof. If today's video is of value, please consider liking the video to let me know you've enjoyed it, share it with friends or family to educate others, and consider subscribing for more content like this. Make sure you hit the bell icon to be notified of uploads, as otherwise YouTube won't necessarily inform you of the latest videos. We again look at the Iceman Wim Hof and how cold therapy can benefit us. Last week, we looked at his breathing exercises to help prepare you for cold showers and care for the body. If you haven't seen that part, I would recommend watching it first, and we'll link it in the description down below. Today, while I understand most of us don't have access to the Antarctic for cold therapy, we can still gain the benefits of cold therapy by taking cold showers or even ice baths. However, before you do, it's worth understanding what benefits you can get from cold showers and precautions to take. So first of all, what are the benefits? Number 1 increases alertness. Taking a cold shower in the morning and feeling cold water pour down over our body can appear to be a daunting proposition to many. This is because due to the sudden change in temperature, our bodies naturally go into a state of initial shock and our breathing patterns can be uncomfortable, or we even hyperventilate. However, deep breathing, which we covered in the previous video, in response to our body's shock not only helps keep us warm, but it also increases our overall oxygen intake. As a result, our heart rate will also increase and we release a rush of blood through our entire body, giving us a natural dose of energy for the day. Wim Hof has experimented this himself, as after his wife passed away he fell into a state of depression and one day when spending time alone at the park, he saw an icy bed of water and immediately felt compelled to swim. But I couldn't find it, and uh, after years uh, I found myself in the park in Sunday morning Everybody still uh, sleeping, and uh, was you know pondering once again, like always, because it uh, do doesn't stop, you know. The brain doesn't the stop. Bra the brain, the brain doesn't stop. If you really search for something and you haven't found it, your brain just keeps on. You, you, uh, you're into your mind. So this Sunday morning, I was walking through the park, and I just felt this attraction to this thin layer of ice on the water. The idea came up, uh, I go into that water. He took off his clothes and went for a swim, after which he felt energized and thus began the story of the Iceman. Number 2. Improves hair and skin When it comes to hair and skin, cold showers can be highly beneficial and are one of the most natural ways to maintain your appearance. The reason for this is hot water actually dries out our skin, as it strips the skin of the natural oils that prevent it from drying out and cracks and wrinkles appearing. Cold water on the other hand actually tightens pores, which prevents them from getting clogged and prevents dirt from getting in. This is the same for your scalp too, which contains numerous hair follicles from which your hair grows. Cold water also benefits your hair, as it tightens cuticles making your hair stronger and smoother. This is often a common practice these days, as skincare specialists often suggest washing your face with lukewarm water to cleanse the face, and then ending with rinsing with cold water. The principle is also the same when shampooing hair. When rinsing, use cold water rather than hot. One final benefit is if you suffer from conditions such as eczema, a cold shower can ease the itching sensations that can make the condition worse. Number 3. Help stimulate weight loss one of the lesser known facts about cold showers is that they can aid weight loss. This is because the human body contains two types of fat tissue, white and brown fat. White fat accumulates when we consume more calories than our body needs to function. So essentially, if you eat too much, a chronic problem in today's world, we don't burn those calories for energy. This body fat piles up, usually at the waist, neck and thighs, and white fat is what many people struggle to deal with when trying to lose weight. Now brown fat is considered a healthy fat, which is used to generate to keep our bodies warm and is activated when our bodies are exposed to extreme cold. Therefore, cold showers can promote brown fat activity, helping our bodies care for itself and maintain body temperature. This activity within the body is done by burning fat. 
A 2009 study found that exposure to extreme cold temperatures activated body fat in 23 out of 24 participants by a 15-fold increase, meaning someone could lose up to 9 pounds a year if they just kept this practice up. Number 4. Improves the immune system and circulation Cold water can improve circulation by encouraging blood to surround our organs, which can help then combat some problems of the skin and heart. As cold water hits the body, its ability to get blood circulating leads to arteries to more efficiently pump blood, therefore boosting our overall heart health. It can also lower blood pressure as we relax, clear blocked arteries and improve our immune system, making us physically healthier in a number of respects. Number 5. Eases Stress One of the greatest benefits of cold showers is that they can ease stress. By jumping into the shower without letting it heat up, you can help promote hardening, increasing your tolerance to stress and even disease. Studies have shown that there is a drastic decrease in uric acid levels during and following exposure to the cold stimulus. Uric acid can cause gout, resulting in joint pains and aches. In studies, there was also an increase in glutathione, the antioxidant that helps all other antioxidants performing at their optimum levels. Number 6. Relieves Depression as discussed, cold showers can ease stress and this in turn has been shown to relieve depression symptoms due to the intense impact of cold receptors on the skin. This activity sends an overwhelming amount of electrical impulses from the peripheral nerve endings to the brain, which in response produces an antidepressive effect and boosts moods, acting as a pick-me-up. Studies have found that cold hydrotherapy has an analgesic effect, which relieves pain and does not appear to have any noticeable side effects. The treatment can also include 1-2 to two cold showers of 38 degrees Fahrenheit, 2-3 to three minutes long, followed by a 5 minute gradual adaptation to make the procedure less shocking. This process has been critical in Wim Hof's life as he struggled following his wife's death and he has developed his methods for his own recovery. Number 7. Speeds up muscle soreness and recovery Many athletes take ice baths after training to reduce muscle soreness and speed up recovery. However, a quick cold shower after breaking a sweat at the gym can be equally effective, particularly for relieving delayed onset muscle soreness. Studies have shown that people who rested themselves in cold water after an intense workout found that 24 minute cold water baths were effective in relieving sore muscles 1 to 4 days after exercise. This is incredibly important to athletes who need to recover quickly after a sporting event, but equally so can be highly beneficial for people who exercise regularly. It's a, a deep breath in the water. Yep. You know, oxygen you need for combustion. Combustion is energy. So you learn to breathe deeper and then the body's uh, uh, chemistry is becoming stronger, mm -hmm. alkali, and then it adapts to the situation. Really? Not only in the cold, also in the heat, also in Mount Everest, also in any stressful situation. Now before we finish up, there are a few precautions to take when taking a cold shower. The key points are. Number 1. Don't take too long in the cold shower While a quick blast of cold can be of benefit, spending too long can lead to exhaustion or lethargy and potentially worse conditions. Be fully aware of what benefits your body. Number 2. If necessary, ease into it. For many, it's extremely difficult to get straight into a cold shower, so instead you can either start by having lukewarm or cool showers, or start the shower warm, but end it cold. Number 3. If you struggle with ailments or are older, then take care. Cold showers are a shock to the system and for people struggling with certain conditions, especially those susceptible to heart attacks or those who are older may be more at risk when taking them. And there you have it, the benefits of taking cold showers and learning from the Iceman himself, Wim Hof. Give it a try and see the amazing benefits yourself. My why, mission why is do you do it? to show that everybody by their mind uh, can reach more depth within themselves and prevent we got healing power we really got it but if we block it because we say yeah I cannot heal myself I need to go to the doctor be dependent I need to take pills I need to take that then you won't be 
uh, having this access uh, toward your own healing power. The, the inner doctor of Paracelsus 2,000 years ago, it was already known and said, and we forgot a little bit about this. We are dependent on outside forces while we have inner power. And by our opening up our mind toward that and be more conscious toward that, we can really feel this inner power, healing power, and uh, prevent from disease. Fantastic. Wim Hof. So, have you started taking cold showers? And if so, how have you found the experience? Let me know in the comments section below. If today's video is of value, please like the video to let me know you've enjoyed it, share it with friends or family to educate others and consider subscribing for more content like this. Make sure to hit the notification bell because if you don't, YouTube won't necessarily inform you of the latest videos.